the oral route of administration. Administering medications orally is usually the safest, most convenient, and least expensive way to give many medications. Usually, you will give the drug in a tablet, capsule, or liquid form. Every once in a while, you may see oral medications that are powders, granules, or oils. Always be sure to read and follow special instructions for administration carefully. Most of the time, you will be giving tablets or capsules whole. The medicine is placed in the person's mouth, and he or she will drink a liquid to help in swallowing the pills. However, there will be instances when you may need to put medication in a liquid or a soft food, such as pudding or applesauce, to help the person in taking the medication. If you do not have an order to crush the tablet or open the capsule, just add the whole pill to the food and give it to the person. If the person has problems swallowing the pill whole, you may need to crush the pill, then add it to soft food. Remember, you may only crush a pill or allow the person to chew their pills only when you have instructions on the prescription label or with a doctor's written order. If the person you are taking care of is an infant or a child and they have difficulty swallowing pills or have a gastrostomy tube, medications are given in a liquid form. You will learn about the procedure for preparing medication for the G-tube when we get to the enteral route section. Never give medication from an improperly labeled bottle. If the label does not match the MAR, if you can't read the label, or if the bottle is unlabeled. Steps for administering oral medication. Gather all of the supplies you will need. Medication, medication cup, a glass of water or other liquid to help the person swallow the drug, device for crushing the pill if needed, device for cutting the pill if needed, the MAR, and the person receiving the medication. Wash your hands. For each person a medication, match the person and the medication to the person's name and the medications that are due on the MAR. Always use the five rights plus two each and every time you administer or supervise self-administration of a medication. Administering a tablet or capsule. Pour the required number of tablets or capsules into the lid of the container. Put the medication into the medication cup. Be sure the person is in an upright position, preferably sitting. Offer him or her the tablets or capsules. Have the person place the medication in their mouth. Then drink enough liquid to swallow the pills comfortably. If the person is unable to place the medication in their mouth, you are permitted to do it for them. If the tablet is chewable, be sure they chew it thoroughly before swallowing. Be sure the person swallows the medication. Document the administration on the MAR. Return the medication to its proper location. Administering a liquid medication. Shake the bottle well unless the label indicates not to shake. Then remove the cap. Place the cap upside down on a clean surface to avoid contamination. If using a medication cup to measure the liquid, hold the cup at eye level and use your thumb to mark the correct level. Pick up the bottle and place the label against the palm of your hand to prevent liquid from staining or obscuring the label if any medication run down the bottle. Pour the medication into the measuring device. Double check the accuracy. Clean the lip of the sides of the bottle if there are any drips found. Be sure the person is in an upright position, preferably sitting. Give the person the medication and have them place it in their mouth and swallow. You may place the medication in the person's mouth if he or she is unable to do it for themselves. Offer them a drink unless the medication is a cough syrup or if it's indicated in the instructions to hold beverages for a period of time. Administering medication to an infant. Prepare liquid medication as previously described. Hold the baby in the crook of your arm with his or her head elevated about 45 degrees. Place the dropper 
or dosage syringe at the corner of the baby's mouth so the medication will flow into a pocket between the cheek and gums. This helps prevent aspiration and the baby spitting out the medication. You may also put the medication in a nipple. Take the nipple off the bottle and put the medicine in the nipple. If the volume is too much to put in the nipple all at once, just keep adding it until it is all gone. Put the nipple in the baby's mouth. Be sure to keep the nipple angled sufficiently to prevent medicine from spilling out of the nipple. Never mix the medication to a bottle. If the baby doesn't drink the entire contents of the bottle, they will not get the full dosage of the drug. If you have more than one person you are passing medications to, repeat the process. You should only do one person at a time, and you should not have more than one person's medication out of storage while preparing medications for administration.